Come on, come on, come on. I can get the dogs to come, but then when they come, I try to pay them something. You know, I try to say, hey, I appreciate that. Now, these dogs all brought up. They all came, I gave them a little piece of food, and these labs obviously want me to throw that stick. Hey, get their right. attention right. and, and get them to come to you. Come on, dogs. Come on. Come on, there you go. Good. There you go. Now back up the hill. Very nice. Now see, you're getting to be more interesting. You're selling it. Uh, just well, okay. If if you don't have anything to give them like a treat, then you make the activity with you that much better. So you pet on them and love on them and stuff. That German Shepherd feels real left out, huh? Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Now you kids try it. Run down there and get those dogs' attention. Come on! Come on! There you go. Nice. Very nice. They're leading. They're just running. Mark, you want to try it? You want you want to try being the fun guy? Yeah. All right. Let's, let's see you be the fun hey, guy. Hey, come on, dog. Come on. Hey, come on. Come on, dog. There you go. Hey. See that vocalization? Run the big zigzag with them, Clark. Get them excited. Hey, come on. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, watch out. Come on. Let's go. There you go. Run down the hill so Eli can keep you in the camera. Hey, come on now. Let's go. Come on. Let's sprint. Go. Sprint. Sprint. Let's go. Let's go. Now, we came out here and we ran around with the dogs, okay, and we made them understand that if they come to us, good stuff happens. Now, sometimes that good stuff is they get a little treat, sometimes you throw a ball for them or a stick for them, and uh, sometimes you just love on them. If you just get out and you run, you move around, you zigzag with your dogs, it's the same thing you can do with a bicycle, you can do it on your four-wheeler, whatever you want. It's the movement in itself, the movement itself is self-reinforcing. Does that, does that make sense? So you don't have to be running with them necessarily and be like, oh, here's a treat, or running with them and be like, oh, let me pet you. On some dogs, they, they love it. They love to catch you and get that treat. Some dogs love to catch you and get petted and, and, and loved on. But some dogs, they just want to run with you and be in the general area that you're in, okay? But they don't need anything extra than that. And all you have to do is keep track of what works in your training journal. Right. Some people are just are naturally, they inspire the dogs to be really up, you know, and some people are just kind of saunterers. And either way is a fine, it's a fine way to approach exercise. It's just if you're a saunterer, you have to do longer duration. You know, if you're a sprinter, a climber, a jumper, a skateboarder, then you do less duration but higher intensity. What you'll see is all these dogs have started to calm down. And this is always our preferred way of setting the stage for good manners. As their energy level goes down, their manners go up, right? There's an inverse relationship between exercise and misbehavior. More exercise, less misbehavior. Less exercise, more mis misbehavior that you have to be creative in dealing with. Okay, so we'll take these dogs who are nice and tired. We'll go up here on the small challenges course, and it's going to be much more likely that they're going to be able to focus and stay on track. Come on, dogs. See? You get right over here with me. Stay pretty close. Easy. Very nice. Easy. Very nice. Now, kind of catch up here. Easy. Good. Easy. Good. Now watch here. Hup. And we're going to pause the dog in the middle. Wait. Let the balance point change. I'll help Tommy down, then I'll help you. Very nice. Okay, there you go. Sell it. Good. Easy. Right there. Wait. Balance point changes. Nice. I appreciate it. Now we'll go up the steps. Up, up, up. Very nice. Now we're doing stuff high off the ground. We got to, you know, keep the dogs calm so they don't make a big mistake. Easy. Good. Easy on the down. Very nice. Catch up with me here. All right. Now hop up. Very good. Hop. Very good. Is that, is that Rhodesian ridge back in your way? <laughs> That's what they're good for, getting in the way. Hey, <laughs> get out of the way, dog. Up, up. Very nice. Perfect, perfect. Up, up. Easy. Wait. Very nice. Easy. Up, up. 
Very nice. Don't worry about what those other dogs are doing. When your dog's at work, he's supposed to be thinking about what you're saying is important. Catch up with me. Up, up. Very nice. Good. Now we're going to go up this little A-frame and slow on the descent. Very nice. Up over this table. Up, up. Good. And then we're going to get up on top of this exam table and we're going to tell the dogs to sit and stay. So hop up, Tommy. Good boy. And so sit and stay there. And you're going to get Bentley up there. Uh, now this short hair will be the death of me trying to get it to sit and stay. Come on. We'll bring a lab up here to kind of show him how to do it. Stay. And of course we got a ridge back in the back going, dude, why are you guys minding? Don't you know we're dogs? We get to do what we want. There you go. But see how easy that is? That's our whole vocabulary. Come, let's go, hop, easy, wait, and stay. And once you settle down and, and just realize that it's, you know, you just kind of had to, to be a good uh, leader and be a good mentor, show the dogs, you know, how to, to stay calm and to concentrate. You see how they fell right in line with you? Yeah. Okay. And that's all it takes to help your mom. 